What's up, what's up, what's up everyone? It is Jason Jan. I welcome back to the channel. I'm grateful that you are here. And in this video, I'm gonna take you for the ride to a wedding that I'm hosting today at the Brook Lake Country Club in Florham Park, New Jersey. Now, this couple is incredible. Tim and Danielle, I've been working with them for a while and I am so incredibly pumped for this wedding. They are super cool. Their wedding tribe is super cool. Their music selections are super cool. They just have a good vibe. This wedding is gonna be off the chain and I am pumped to take you along for the ride. Now, I wanna bring you through the celebration. We've just got here, we've loaded up, we've set up. The guests are currently enjoying cocktail hour and in just about an hour's time, they're gonna be greeted into our ballroom where we're gonna launch off. From a services perspective, we just have our DJ booth, our sound system, and later on, we're gonna sprinkle in a little dash of CO2 with a CO2 gun for the couple to enjoy when we launch this wedding to another level, the second half of the wedding anyway, to another level. And again, I'm just pumped to take you through this. Now, in terms of equipment and whatnot, using the RCF TTW4A tops paired with the TT RCF 18AS subs. These things are monsters. They're my favorite sound system anywhere ever. I mean, like so accurate, so loud, so brilliant. They sound like incredibly rich studio monitors at like high volume. And that's why I love this system. I'm gonna be playing on Rain 12s paired with an S11 tonight. The mics, sure, ULSD, the mic control or the, the mixer control, the QSC Touch Mix 8, and uh, I'm using my tricked out DJ booth with one screen in it to show some pictures, some imaging, some video content, and of course, like the couple's monogram for the celebration. That's it. If you like the video, be sure to smash a thumbs up. If you have a question or comment about what we're doing, how it's going, or anything at all from a organization, timeline, or party perspective, throw it in the comments underneath this video. If you are interested in getting a copy of the playlist of this wedding, I'm doing some really cool stuff on Sellify, and you can find a link in the description underneath this video where you can actually get a screenshot of my exact playlist history from Serato, and I'm gonna have that available to anyone that's interested in, in getting it underneath this video, and, um, that's really it. I can't wait to get you guys started with this. We're gonna show you introductions, show you a ton of different music diversity, and just show you a stuffed dance floor all night long. And again, I'm so pumped to get this party started. So sit back, relax, enjoy the footage. Again, comments if you have a question or need anything at all. Thumbs up if you enjoyed the footage or you enjoyed the channel. And uh, that's it. See you when we get this uh, party started. Jedi, I appreciate that. Very good. The All right. Let me let me line you guys up so you get a party started. So first up, I need um Tom and Mary Jo. So getting out there, you guys are coming in first. Yeah. Congratulations, guys. And then we need uh, Tony and Tracy right after them. Alright, wedding party. Sean and Bianca. A lot out of you guys. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. A little crazy today. A little crazy right now. What's the vibe of this? Let me see. And then it's going to like drop into like a house, like a newer house. Jack, where are you? When you're on the dance floor. Okay, perfect. Fire. So, what, what's our like cue? As soon as I scream. Brandon, Mr. and Mrs. Timothy, and Danielle. Timothy. Okay. Yeah. Boom. And then you're going to just run in. And then are we dancing out there? You're going to like go crazy seconds? until I stop you. Okay. Yeah. And okay. then we're going to go into your first dance. And I cut out that whole like middle bridge of that song. So it kind of like ends it nice. It's like it just kind of it yeah. starts and it kind of goes into the next verse. Super cool. At the conclusion of that, we're going to do I Loved Her First. That's going to be cut down. And then I did Mama's. And that's cut down. It starts pretty much like on the first yeah. vocal. Okay. Perfect. And then we kind of like take it from there. Cool. We're going to sit everyone down. Give you guys a minute to breathe. We're gonna serve first course, and then we're gonna start with our blessing, which is um, Uncle your Uncle Jim. Jim. Then we're gonna bring Dad up, then Nicole, Mike, and Rob. So like Perfect. all kind of back yeah, to back. Boom. By that time, we're gonna open up the dance floor. Tennessee Perfect. whiskey, stuff the floor, dance until dinner. That's how we Love do it. it. Love fist it. pumps. Let's do it. Okay, fist pumps. Big hugs later on. Bro hugs. Come on. Love it. I'm so Let's hyped with it. you guys. We got RJ filming this from all different directions. Hey RJ. Are you ready? Up, Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? You're going in with this. We are now finally ready to get tonight's celebration started. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. 
Good evening, family and friends. It's an honor to welcome you all right here to the incredible, the beautiful, the magnificent Group 8 Country Club. And of course, and more importantly, to the long-awaited wedding celebration for the brand new Mr. and Mrs. Tedesco. Now, I've got one question for everyone in this room. I've got one question for everyone in this room tonight. By a round of applause and by a whole lot of noise, who here is finally ready to get this celebration started? That was not a trick question. That was a legitimate question. Who here is finally ready to get this celebration started? Work in progress, I promise we're going to have a good time. Please let me introduce myself. My name is Jason here on behalf of the SC event group. Along with the crew guys here, we've got the audio landscape. Everyone's enjoyment right here tonight. We came here to have some fun. We came here to celebrate love, life, and all the goodness that exists in the universe. And we came here to make some history happen right here on this dance floor tonight. What we're going to do right now is I need your help. I need you all to turn your attention towards the entrance way you all entered in from because it's now time to bring in some incredibly special people, starting with the parents of our beautiful bride, Danielle. So I need your help. I need you all to come together and really, really, really make some noise for Tom and Mary Jo Wilk. Let's hear it for them. Come on. I need a lot of noise for the parents of our bride. Come on. Up next, I need y'all to turn your attention back to that main entrance way because it's time to bring in Timothy's parents into the room. So family and friends, let's welcome Tony and Tracy to Desco. Let's hear it for them. <laughs> Only good vibes tonight, I'm just saying. All right, so check it out. It's now time to bring in Team Ride and Team Groom are VIPs here with us tonight. So ladies and gentlemen, I need y'all to turn your attention to our main entrance way and please really, really, really make some noise for Bianca, for Sean, and for Mikey Chris. Let's hear it for them. y'all to turn your attention back to our main entrance way because it is time to give it up as we welcome Brittany and Matt into the room. Somebody make some noise for Britt and for Matt tonight. We are not done yet. The celebration continues. Up next, it is time to bring in Grace and Kyle. Somebody make some noise for Grace and Kyle tonight. I love the energy already. It is time for everyone to turn that attention back to our main entrance way because it is time to bring in Dylan and Jacqueline. Let's make some noise for Dylan and Jacqueline tonight. Keep that energy up. Let's all make some noise for Mike and Caitlin. Let's welcome Mike and Caitlin. It is time to bring in our ultra VIPs. I'm talking about our beautiful nation of honor, Nicole, escorted by the best man and best me. It is time for everyone to scream and shout for Mike and for Rob. Let's welcome all three of them tonight. Let's go. So check it out. We're missing two people from going any further right here tonight. So if you hear my voice and you are in this room, I need you to stand up out of your chairs and I need every single person in the room 
to grab the napkin on the plate before you. I need you to break out that napkin, roll it nice and tight, just roll the napkins out. We need to make an instant worthy moment happen right here for the newlyweds. So I need your help. I need you to grab your napkins, I need you to get ready, and I need you to start swinging those napkins up high. We need to make sure the vibe is right for our newlyweds tonight. Let's have everyone bring those napkins up. Everyone swing those napkins around because this celebration is about to go down. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now my honor to invite everyone in the room to come together and to make some noise as we proudly welcome the reason we are here. So let's scream and shout and bring in Mr. and Mrs. Timothy and Danielle Tedesco!
All right, guys, so that's a wrap. We're out of the building, completely loaded, ready to shut the doors and drive 20 minutes after the conclusion of the celebration. That's what I'm talking about. And that alone is so big. If you're a DJ and you're not running efficiently or it takes forever to break down, you really should consider improving your processes and you know working on becoming faster and becoming quicker, especially on the loadout because these people want to go home and they don't want to be babysitting you guys in the room, breaking down equipment when they just literally want to get out of here. So a couple lessons learned tonight. I think one of the really valuable things that I could share with you is the key to being a great wedding DJ isn't just playing bangers and keeping people in the dance floor all night long. The key to being a great wedding DJ is knowing how and when to balance multiple angles of a celebration and knowing when to push forward and knowing when to pull back. Early on the night, we opted or I opted to full throttle the celebration right from the jump because I just felt like it was proper for this amazing couple and this crazy room that they had of fr family and friends. And that really was like the accelerant of a crazy night for them. I think over the course of the celebration, both the bride, the groom, immediate family members, and a handful of other people had asked me to do certain things for people and knowing what and how to balance it is really like the key thing that I think takes a little while and a little time in this business. And I feel like that's one thing that can help you is just understanding priorities, understanding and balancing requests and knowing when and how to either throttle back or, or, or throttle forward during a celebration while it's underway. I feel like that's one of those things that maybe we'll do some lessons here on the channel in the future of just managing situations and dealing with things. Tonight had a lot of almost like right and left turns that were not planned because we needed to adapt quickly to the room and just the needs of the room and you know older guests and a warm dance floor. Today is the first 90 degree day in the Northeast in New Jersey and you know, the venue did an incredible job, the air kept up, but it got hot quickly for a lot of people and that impacted the celebration in different ways. Also like over the course of the celebration, knowing to pull back, change direction, incorporate more family favorites to keep the older guests dialed into the celebration on the dance floor and literally the alley-oop for the very end, which was the bride and groom, crushing the CO2 gun with everyone in front of them. And that was kind of like one thing that was super important to this couple. So rather than doing it early and rather than pushing it when I felt like it wasn't right, I kind of massaged the room into a position where everyone was fully engaged, everyone was fully dialed in, and then we let the hammer drop and we brought out the CO2, we dropped calling, and man, it was just one of those epic moments of the night. So lessons learned, I think. Efficiency is a big deal. If you're not focused on that with your business, that's something you really, really need to think about. Getting in, setting up, and getting out at the end of the celebration, one. And two, managing priorities, managing different, I guess, perspectives, and paying close attention to the room. Knowing when to throttle up, when to throttle back. That, to me, is a very important part of being a wedding entertainer, a wedding host, uh, a DJ that is successful over time. It's just knowing when to pivot, knowing when to take right turns, left turns, knowing when to throttle up, throttle back, and knowing when to change directions to get to the place that you know the couple wants to get to by the end of their celebration. That's the key. If you have any questions about anything I just said, drop it in the comments underneath this video. And again, I appreciate you sticking with me to the very end of this very long video. But uh, now it's midnight and we gotta get out of here. Anyway, be on the lookout for more content coming right here to the channel in the days, weeks, and months ahead, and I appreciate you guys checking this out. More to come right here on this channel. Thanks for watching.